Uh, welcome to Appsta um, at our Melbourne headquarters. Uh, we have just finished the Rapid Concept Workshop and today we are joined by Dave and Liz um, who have joined us from Geelong for a, an amazing Rapid Concept Workshop. And they've spent the last two days with us and we're here to capture the feedback and gather the thoughts as to how their experience was. Over to you, Dave and Liz. How'd you guys go with the workshop? All right, I'll start that off. I think uh, the workshop's been fantastic for us. We are not technical people, you know, we come from different backgrounds, none of which are technically based. Uh, we had an idea and having a couple of days with Per up here in your offices has um, given us something a bit more tangible. We really know what, we've defined our product and what it looks like and, and what it feels like and um, we can now see maybe some potential. Mm, hmm. A bit of clarity and direction I think is probably a good term. So it's more, yeah, exactly that as a tangible thing, whereas before it was a, like a visual thing just floating around in our heads. We mm -hmm. can see the application of it. Um, Fantastic. Of the idea. Great to hear. Um, what were your expectations um, before you came into the workshop? Um, unbounded, actually, uh, because we haven't been exposed to this before, we yeah. really didn't know what we were in for. Um, two days of, in, of intense um, discussion, but it's been really, really positive. Um, yeah. I'm not walking, or I don't think for both of us, we're walking out of here with more questions or concerns. We were always going to have questions about how things are going, but mm -hmm. as I said, you've given us clarity and you've given sure. us direction on where we're going. Fantastic. So um, there were two days um, and day one uh, was split uh, more into the strategy component and day two was the consolidation day where uh, most of the features functionality probably get discussed and they all sort of come together. Mm -hmm. How would you rate day one in terms of um, the activities or the discussions that you had? Day, day one for me was probably a bit more of a slog, okay. mm -hmm. it, probably because we didn't have that um, total understanding of okay. what our idea was. Mm -hmm. But it was really great to, to work through. It's not a comfortable space for us. It's yeah. a, um, outside of our comfort zone, outside of our normal, what, what our normal looks yeah. like. But under the direction um, and guidance of Per, who, who is our, what is he? A, He's a product strategist. Product strategist. Yeah. You know, he was brilliant in, in directing those conversations and just forming it into something that, you know, we can really, mm. we can really grab. Fantastic. Um, and did you think you were challenged enough through the process? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. He really did try to flesh out of us what we wanted, mm -hmm. um, and and he challenged us on our ideas as well, which is exactly what we wanted. We wanted to come here to get our to get our questions answered, you know, mm -hmm. honestly, and, and have the feedback. And I think we've had that. There's been yeah. no there's been no you know patting on the back, no fluffing around. It's been yeah. very direct and, and very honest and really productive. Okay, fantastic. Thank you for your kind words. And do you think? Um, the process is something that was necessary to go through in your position? Absolutely. Absolutely. If, if, you, if you don't go through a process like this, you're kidding yourself. Okay. And do you think it was um, um, worth the money or justified? Most uh, definitely, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Who, who would not enter into something like no. this without having gone through this process? Because, you know, it's something that we're... Uh, we don't want to be too emotional about and mm -hmm. we and we want to have those holes poked in it and... Right. You know what are, what are going to be our red flags what are our problems and then how can we get around them and yeah. um without having had those conversations i i don't think we would have known where to start yeah. or, or yeah. what we, what bridges we actually needed to cross so we don't know how to ask those yeah. questions because we don't know what we don't know right. you guys know how to questions. ask those questions cool. so then we can answer them honestly as well, so. very cool i know you mentioned this a couple of times that per was fantastic um, I just wanted to um, probably get some more insight into what do you think um, made Per the right choice for your product? What was the quality in Per or what do you think um, is his process that he went through made sure that you achieved the outcomes that you achieved at the end of the two days? I think he had structure. Structure, structure okay. to what he was doing. He had a plan in his head which uh -huh. we stepped through and he said we're going to be hitting these key points. Okay. And if we hadn't, if we we jumped ahead, he always referred back to them as well. Okay. So he had the story. He wasn't all over the place, mm -hmm. um, and you know, in his knowledge, of course, his technical knowledge was, mm -hmm. was fantastic. Um, understanding what we the idea that we had, mm -hmm. um, he he came on board and he saw it. But because he was a fresh mind, he was, yeah. also wasn't tainted by the emotion or, or the, the ro romance of it at all. Yeah. Um, so his structure and his technical knowledge of what we needed is what really helped us. And he was also really fluid. So okay. if we wanted to go to a different space, 
he let us do that mm. and then he brought us back on track when we needed to. So yeah. okay. he was he was absolutely really accommodating of those conversations, but you could just see his understanding of, of your space, which is the space that we don't have any understanding of. And, and he also had taken the time to understand where we were coming from and understanding what we were trying to achieve. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, look, um, thank you very much for your kind words. Any, any um, last um, comments or any feedback items or any suggestions? Um, even for our, um, you know, other entrepreneurs who are probably, um, you know, at that stage where they need to progress, um, is there anything that you would like to say to them? Make the call. There's no harm in at least having a con starting a conversation. Mm. You know what we've uh, what we've laid out right now. Um, I don't regard it as a cost. I regard it as an investment. Whether we go ahead with it or not, it's given us knowledge. Okay. Um, make that first step. Definitely, and talk to the right people. Yeah. You know, and what we've seen from this, you know, Appster is the right, are the right people. Yeah, if you've got if you've got an idea, but you don't even know what it is, but you know what you're trying to achieve, I think this process is really worthwhile to to just gain a better understanding of where you want to go. And you know, we never thought of ourselves as entrepreneurs, so it's funny to hear you say that. And maybe maybe other people don't think of themselves as entrepreneurs either, but they've got an idea. Um, you know, I'd just say, just explore that. Mm. Absolutely. Well, um, look, I wish you guys all the best for the next couple of weeks until uh, we start working on some of the items from the workshop and uh, looking forward to um, speaking to you more uh, when we go into development. Thank you very much for your time and your kind words and spending the last two days with us. Lovely. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Liz. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers.